Unfortunately, we can't choose where we are born or our natural appearance. Beautiful people are just born lucky. They won the genetic lottery. Of course we feel bad for people with diseases or imperfections, although we really shouldn't because everyone is beautiful in their own way. The world would be a lot better if we learned to be more accepting of everything unusual in order to appreciate all the beauty. Number 7. Lalit Palatar If you are the type that likes reading or watching shows about mythical creatures, especially werewolves, it's because Lalit Palatar is a young man from the Indian city Rathlam. He has a disease that doctors call hypertrichliosis. It is known as the werewolf syndrome. This disease most known characteristic is an excess of body hair in places where it should not grow. In Lalit's case, it's primarily when the face grows hairs 5 centimeters long. The boy's hair also grows more denser on the rest of his body. You would think that he has a hard time at school because he's just so much hairier and different than the rest of his classmates. His peers thankfully are pretty kind. They quickly got used to his hairier looks and they do not bully him at all for it. And that's great because the boy already faces difficulties that most people will never understand. For example, all the hair that he has doesn't let him breathe normally through his nose sometimes. It even makes it hard for him to see. Unfortunately for him, there's no way to cure the disease. However, there are treatments that will improve the situation for him and make his life a little bit easier. Michelle Kish It might be hard to imagine, but the person in the next video is not a kid, but a young woman. And despite her unusual outward appearance, she lives with the common problems people her age deal with. Her sister already has a boyfriend, yet Michelle has never dated anyone. She has another problem as well. One, well, that isn't as common. She's not allowed on any of the amusement park rides at all because there is a height restriction on almost every single one of them. And Michelle is not even tall enough to even reach the waist of an average size adult. Otherwise, there is almost nothing out of the ordinary in her life. Michelle undergoes routine regular medical treatments and does not nag about her disorder called hollerman Struff Syndrome. It's a genetic pathology that has 28 symptoms. Michelle has 26 of them. However, even with all that, we could still say that there's a bright side because two of the symptoms that she doesn't have causes brain damage. Michelle is just a regular young adult trapped in an irregular body. Just so you know, this syndrome is so extremely rare that at the time Michelle was born, there was only 250 people in the world diagnosed with it. The doctors had to ID the disease by brushing off their medical books and looking at the pictures because they've never seen anything like this before. And one last thing about Michelle's issues. The most heartbreaking one is the fact that Michelle wanted to be a mermaid, but cannot due to the fact that she has to permanently wear a breathing tube. Another annoying thing is that if my trick I can't go underwater because I like to be a mermaid. Number 5. Martin Sheedy. He is more proof that even with what most people would consider a serious physical defect, you could live a normal life. Martin is from Dearborn, Michigan, not that far from Detroit. Since birth, he's had three disorders, dislocated hips, club feet, scoliosis. As a boy, he looked so different to doctors that he had to spend almost four months in the hospital. They then misdiagnosed him. In fact, the doctors even gave up on the boy. They basically felt that children with these diagnoses will not even live up to five. Luckily, his parents did not listen to the initial doctors. His parents consulted with doctor after doctor until they finally found one that would correctly diagnose their son. Thanks to this doctor that exhausted all options, Martin was able to survive. So the disease that Martin suffers from is arthrograposis. It leads to deformities like underdeveloped joints, muscles, and deformation of the limbs. I have laid braces to help me walk more stable. I weigh 60 pounds and I'm four foot 10. So being little and the weight does affect me lifting some things. The fact that Martin walks in a scissor-like manner is not something that he was born with. He chose to walk this way because it's the easiest way for him to get around. At the age of 19, he managed to get himself a driver's license. He chose business and management as his career. For Martin, his unusual looks are not a problem. He developed a thick skin and even learned to treat people's comments with humor. When a little boy on the street called Martin a puppet, he thought it would be a great idea to dress up as Pinocchio for Halloween. So here we have Sarah Gertz. Take a guess on how old she is. We are sure some of you will think that she probably looks great for being about 55 years old, but there's just one problem with that. She's actually much younger. Sarah Gertz is only just 29 years old. The reason she has all these wrinkles and folds on her body is due to a rare disorder called Eros Danlos Syndrome. It occurs when a woman's body lacks collagen in the skin, 
And if you don't know, collagen is responsible for the strength and elasticity of our skin. For many people, old age is a serious issue. Women and men spend tons of money on revitalizing products and procedures that help reverse aging. With that being said, it wouldn't be surprising if Sarah was pretty insecure. However, she's not. She doesn't seem to have any insecurities. She refuses to hide her issues. And get this, she even works as a model and has a hugely popular Instagram profile with over 100,000 followers. She even encourages people not to be shy about how they look, even if they're different from traditional beauty standards. Sarah said that there was a time when her skin was her most important issue. Now she feels like it's the most beautiful thing about her, and we're not going to argue with that. Number 3. Isaiah Acosta Our next person was born on October 31st, 1999. Halloween. Doctors were shocked to see him, and were almost certain the boy would not survive. When Isaiah did manage to survive, the doctors did say that he would not be able to walk. Yet again, Isaiah refused to accept what the doctors told him. As you can see, Isaiah is walking perfectly fine. Constantly um, involved in community service with the Phoenix Children's Hospital. He's also involved with anything you ask him to do. That's what I think inspires a lot of people too, is that they see him, they see him walking around, and just him himself is how he changes a lot of people. In the end, the doctors were right about one thing, that Isaiah would not be able to talk because he was born without a jaw. However, you'll be shocked to find out what career Isaiah chose to pursue. He's looking to make it as a rapper, even though he cannot make a sound. But first things first, Isaiah Acosta was born in Glendale, Arizona. As a youth, he was always developing his artistic talent and spent all his free time writing poems and lines for songs. This was the only way that he could forget about all the problems that he was dealt with in life and express his feelings. Now it's time to get the nitty gritty of what you really want to see. Number 2. Sultan Kosan Let's take a look at the world's biggest man. He's a farmer, yet he holds the current Guinness Book record for the world's tallest man. His height is hard to fathom since he's over 8 feet tall or 251 centimeters. Every part of his body is big, from his feet measuring 36 centimeters to his hands. Well, compared to Jody's, his hand looks absolutely gigantic. The abnormal size of Sultan is caused by a tumor in the brain, which unfortunately made his life very complicated. His trouble started at a very young age. Sultan, as a teenager, had to quit high school to go work as a farmer. As he grew older, he had trouble finding clothes and shoes that would fit him. Not only that, Sultan doesn't fit in most vehicles, and to make matter worse, due to the tumor, he has to use crutches to walk. But there are some benefits too. Since Sultan makes his living as a farmer, he could work with even the tallest trees. While in general, he could do household chores a person of normal size could not. In the past, medical insiders were concerned about Sultan's health, due to the fact that he kept on growing. Thankfully, in 2012, they managed to suppress the tumor. So now, Sultan lives a pretty ordinary life, and he even got married. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them on your phone. Make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. If you're a big watcher of TV shows, then you're probably wondering where have I seen her before? Let me save you some time. Jodi starred in the American Horror Story series. She also starred in an Indian reality TV show. There's a documentary about her life, and in general, she's a very public figure. The world knows Jodi Amge is the smallest woman on the planet. She's officially listed in the Guinness Book of Records. Although Jodi looks like a child, she's a grown adult. She'll actually be 27 years old at the end of the year. She's only 62.8 centimeters tall. Amge was born in the Indian city of Nagpur. I'm sure you're wondering why she's so small. Her stump height is caused by a genetic disorder called achondroplasia. The problem starts in the bones that have not grown to their normal size due to a lack of hormone. Does Jody feel insecure about her height? No, not at all. She appears to be happy, takes pictures with fans, and does not mind being the center of attention in a crowd full of big people. Although Jody's a celebrity, she's not going to stop there. She wants to devote herself to be the best actor that she can be. She wants as many roles as she can get. Well, that's it for today, and I hope that watching these folks have given you inspiration to not complain and live life to the fullest. Last but not least, be a pal and share this video, and we will be eternally grateful. And who knows, maybe we'll send you a freebie one of these days just for helping us out.